everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be showcasing sort of a tutorial slash sort of, you know, I don't really know what the hell to call this ish, Brad, honestly, because uh, I guess you can call it like household items that you can use for WWE action figure weapons. You know, we have done this in the past to an extent. You know, we've showcased some of the things that you can use, and we are going to showcase that in this video, but we all have some new things that I'd like to show you guys, as well as, you know, wonderful things that you can get off the line that are pretty cheap that are WWE figures as well that you can, you know, pair with your figures using your pick feds, your action figure matches, whatever the hell you want to do, Brad. It's available. You can do it right there and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So starting off, Brad, you got to have the Extreme Champion, the MDT Extreme Champion, Kevin Owens defending the Extreme Championship on the line 24-7, have you? It is on the line in a, in a sanctioned match at MDT Hell's Gate. He's going to be going against a mystery opponent. You guys have voted on it. Votes are still tallying up, you know, so, uh, you know, just get in there and just submit your vote. It's on the community tab somewhere. I also put it on my Instagram story highlight, I think, so, you know, go ahead and vote on that hoe if you would like to. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into these weapons because you know that Kevin Owens is going to have to use some things to his, ex to his exposal, to his disposal to uh, take care of whoever the hell he, he has to face. You know, he could end up losing that championship at Hell's Gate. We don't, we don't know just yet. We're going to have to find the hell out. But getting into it, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the first thing that I thought of the other day that kind of just triggered this video idea and that is going to be the soda can. Now the soda can I think is excellent. I freaking love this diet doozy. Gotta use the diet doozy. You don't want to drink your calories. You want to eat your calories. You can see here calorie zero. Obviously no soda is better than any soda but if you're gonna drink soda you might as well get zero calories. I know the taste is a little bit off but once you've been you know cutting and, and drinking only water then any soda will probably taste pretty damn good Brad. So diet soda right here. So obviously you would take a figure and just smash them. I'll do it at the end because actually, you know what? I actually have another can over here. Hey, just give me a second. So obviously, if Kevin Owens was wrestling Evan Bourne right here, obviously you'd take take the championship. Go ahead and set it off to the side here. You'd have your can here. You'd have it laying down right there. Kevin Owens would obviously load Evan Bourne up right here and he would put him in the power bomb position because you know he's been taking care of all kinds of talent on MDT Live. They keep trying to take his extreme championship and he's not having it. So he'd load him up right here and then just bam right there and right there it would leave a dent so that'd be right there or you could crush it even more right there good god in heaven you see that ricochet right there let me let me get the slow-mo video on that he crushed even more right there good god in heaven but anyways you know you just slammed on that hoe and uh right there it would crunch up and their body would obviously contort to the can right there. Reminds me of that certain episode of The Simpsons, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what the name of it was, but Homer had that trash can that got crushed in the garage, and he was paying people to come in there, and he'd throw them on it, and it would, like, fix them like a chiropractor. So there you go. You got the can right there. A great weapon for your WWE figures. Um, you can do all kinds of sort of stuff with that. Also, if you cut this up, it'd be very sharp. I don't recommend that, but if you have an adult that would like to help you, you could cut up the can. Use the can to freaking cut people open. You could, you could do some deathmatch ish with with that stuff right there if you wanted to use an aluminum can now not only do we have the aluminum can which is probably my favorite one from the video this or the one that i'm about to show you right here is uh another household item you can use guys is a cd case now we did cover this before it's like a glass panel what you see on the independence like you see in those extreme death matches on the internet this is what you would see you know you have your glass panels that people get put through jimmy havoc style you know what i'm saying here in the in the mdt extreme division so you would take this and and you can use it for glass panels. Obviously, you'd snap it in half. I do recommend, before we get into this, guys, if you are not uh, 13, 14, 15 years of age, be careful when you're when you're doing this. Like, I, I wear glasses, disclaimer, wear glasses or wear some protective gloves when you snap this ish in half. Because when you snap, you hear that pop right there? When you snap this in half, it gets pretty sharp. Stuff will fly everywhere, and you do want to be careful about that. And you know, you can actually cut this with scissors if you want instead of snapping it in half. I actually recommend cutting it with scissors it's a lot more clean and stuff like that. But when you break that in half, 
Um, I've showed it before. I don't have it right next to me, but you, you shred it up and it looks like shattered glass. You can also use a salt shaker, pour that on the ground, and that will look like, you know, uh, shattered glass. I got that tip from Prime Wrestling on Instagram. Very good pick fetter. He also has a YouTube channel. Really underrated pick fed. So that's another household item you can use for a figure weapon is a CD case or an old CD case. You know, take the info out of there. Get the, you know, the album list. Take that piece of paper. Throw it in the garbage and use this as your as your deal right there. So that is the second household item you can use right there. Another household item is a cardboard box. Now this one is actually probably one of the oldest tricks in the book. You use this as like a wood table. You can use it as a little panel, and you can. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either a lot of people like to like cut it in half, like jagged. Like you'll cut it jagged, and then you'll tape like underside of it. There's like a tutorial on YouTube, I think, and you you know you do that, and then whatever. I don't like to do that, but uh, you can. You can put the double-sided tape or whatever on there, and it'll make it where it can go back together. But I would just say lay it like this, and you can put them through it like that, or you can actually just tear this in half. So if you tore this in half, which I cannot because it's cardboard and I'm a weakling uh, right there, and then it would break in half like that, and you can you can do it like that. If you're pick fetting or whatever, that would you, that would work as well. I mean, honestly, if you're if you're just gonna do that, just go to ringside, use MD Toys. You can get a table for two dollars, and, and and that that that's probably what I'd recommend. Just throw a table or a couple tables into your ringside order use promo code MD toys you'll you'll get it for free or whatever the hell so you don't have to worry about any of that ish now another thing that you can do guys is not only the cardboard you got the CD case you got the diet mountain dew can another little household item you can use this really isn't a household item but you have this best choice trading like I don't freaking know man it's like this it, it's like bead wire but it's like malleable so like you can use it as barbed wire I used it on this little popsicle stick which is another household item you could use for your figure weapons you take this stuff you wrap it around a popsicle stick that you cut and it looks like a barbed wire 2x4 that's pretty easy um where the hell's the freaking start of it right there and it's kind of like you see how malleable it is so it won't like it's not thin and stuff it actually has some weight to it and stuff so that's a really nice one uh that that you can get at hobby lobby and then you could also get you know uh popsicle sticks a lot of people have popsicle sticks if you want you could probably uh, i wouldn't recommend that i was gonna say you could get an ice cream bar or something eat it and then use the leftover wash it or whatever probably gonna be real sticky f that don't even listen to that that's that's dumb as hell another thing that you could also guys also guys you can also use is toothpicks now toothpicks can come in handy for a few reasons i didn't have any number two pencils but the number two pencils have the same effect what you would do is you would lay like a bunch of these toothpicks across like you'd lay them across um you know like a platform or whatever um on either side or maybe some cinder blocks or whatever the hell you're using as like your table legs maybe even just some legos or something lay some number two pencils lay these two toothpicks down and then you would power bomb them and then you know they could snap through like that and they also you know you don't have to cut them or anything because they they you know they they splinter on their own and they have this little jagged thing then you can use that put it in ko's hands and he can stab the shit out of whoever the hell he's fighting so you get a lot of cool options out of that so you have toothpicks you have the diet do can you have the cd cases um another thing that you could also use you could buy it at hobby lobby but these are uh, lollipop sticks or you can get them on amazon for like five bucks whatever the hell the case is and you just use some black tape or black marker you can color the tips there and it looks like light tubes so you know you hit that you can cut that and make it look like it's broken use the salt shaker method again looks like shattered glass so you get all that cool stuff uh you could also if you don't have you know lollipop sticks laying around or you can't buy them you can also use some uh q-tips so you take these q-tips right here they can work as uh, light tubes as well you could cut those off if you'd want make them shorter um stuff like that so you could use those as well to go with your toothpicks and whatever and then this one uh, this was actually wifey's idea right here the uh you know the little floss sticks that you use after you you know you brush your teeth or whatever little floss stick it kind of looks like a deadly weapon you could stab somebody with you could choke them out possibly if you put it over their head i don't know she just said throw this in the video i said all right babe you know whatever you make the rules i, I might as well plug it in the video uh she's beautiful and perfect so i i love this idea i thought that was cool you could ease i mean these could stab yourself so let alone a figure that could be used as something maybe you could cut that off i don't know but uh usually let your you know your imagination do the trick there but not only this this is actually uh i think my can's the favorite i just really like that idea i don't really know if you'd be walking around and find a life-size can anywhere but if you did this would be perfect you know you're walking around the backstage area you see this massive ass can you just want to you know just freaking slam somebody on it so not only do we have that guys but also if you didn't want to pick up any of these things if you didn't want to use the household items you also have some stuff that mattel has made or that ringside collectibles has available like these 
these these tables, which are very cheap. Uh, you can use promo code MDTOYS to pick those up on Ringside Collectibles. Uh, folding chairs, they also have a ton of folding chairs over there. And they also uh, have the Ringside exclusive stretcher, which is this, but it's painted white by my boy Mac Beekhouse, who sent me that, which is very excellent. This is probably one of my favorite accessories. You see it every single time in action figure surgery. Uh, so that's a really good accessory or, or weapon, I might say. And then this right here, if you guys are wondering, what the hell is that TV screen? This is actually a piece of my camera that broke off. If you guys have any like cameras laying around that are broken or some technology, PlayStations, whatever, that are broken, maybe they have a little mini screen or a Game Boy or a phone or something at your house that's laying around that's old that doesn't work anymore, this is a perfect accessory you could use for a TV. You could use it to hit somebody over the head with for, you know, figure weapons. You guys can see there it says Canon. So uh, obviously I use the new camera now. But this could work as a TV or a weapon or whatever you'd want. And then we also did a review of these trash cans back here and recycle bins. You can get these for $13 on Amazon shipped free to your door. So that is, uh, that's good right there. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. You can pick up any of these things that, uh, you know, the, the trash can, the recycle bin, the stretcher, the chair, the table. You can get all that on Ringside Collectibles. Well, not these. These are Amazon exclusive, I think. But the rest of that you can get on Ringside exclusive. You can get on Ringside Collectibles. But the can, the cardboard, the CD cases, the, uh, you know, the, the light sticks, the toothpicks, all stuff that you can use. Also, number two pencils, what I was mentioning, you can break those in half and use as weapons as well. Just some things that came to my mind, and I thought that I would share them with you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the homemade WWE action figure weapons and accessories. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Will Kevin Owens retain that Extreme Championship come Hell's Gate? Let me know down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.